Have you heard of Clown? This is the film directed by John Watts and written by John Watts and Christopher Ford and it is about a clown. And there are many clown films out there from the dark and disturbing It to the slightly more bizarre killer clowns from outer space. Clown is one that I discovered by chance and the reason I was drawn to it is the artwork. The visuals, the actual appearance of the clown really got me very excited. And then I read the description and it sounded incredible. So I will read the description to you just now, but there won't be any spoilers in this. I won't tell you exactly what happens because you just need to see it. I will say now it is 100% worth the watch. So the description from IMDb. A loving father finds a clown suit for his son's birthday party, only to realise that it's cursed. So the father puts on this clown suit and starts to morph, not, not immediately, but begins to morph into this brutal clown. And we're not talking Ronald McDonald, we're, we're in the league of Pennywise. Very disturbing looking, very vicious looking. And when you have this clown and then children in the vicinity, it makes for a very disturbing watch. And... Honestly, it delivered and more. So the narrative itself is really interesting. The fact that the father goes to get a clown suit and then it's a cursed suit. It's, you know, it works well. It's a great plot device there. And having his son and then his relationship being troubled by this clown is a little intense and I wasn't really sure where they were going to go with that. But for me, what makes this... A cut above most other clown films is the makeup. I, while I talk to you about this, I'm going to see if I can just quickly find the makeup artist's name or names. Um, makeup department. See if there's anybody key involved with this one. Uh, den see there's a dental technician, foam latex technician, daily assistant for hair, uh, Tony Gardner, not the actor, um, did the clown makeup effects and... There are so many people involved in this one. Um, it's not just your average uh, horror film where they just need a bit of mascara and foundation. It's it's brutal and visually it's amazing. And I wouldn't mind having that as a poster. It, it is absolutely incredible. I'm just having a look. Um, Tony Gardner has done makeup for Hocus Pocus, Zombieland, Cult of Chucky. Uh, lots of other things you can head to IMDb and find out some more but this film is impeccable it is absolutely incredible it's not the most unique film in the world there are a lot of clown films there are a lot of films about people ordinary people who morph into threats monsters villains demons whatever you want to call them but I think the the narrative device of having the father and the son and the birthday party that's the unwritten version of the father the son and the holy spirit it, it, it makes it a bit more emotional and it is scary and you should watch it with the lights out. I, if I remember correctly, I am, I've seen this film twice. I think the first time I watched it, I was in a hotel and I most definitely did not have the lights out. But the second time I did. Absolutely brilliant. If you're looking for a scary clown film, clown, you know, the, the simple name is just clown. It is to me I actually prefer this to the It films. I think it's incredible. If you've seen it, I would love to know what you think of it and how scary you found it. If you haven't seen it and you're scared of clown films, like I'm really scared, really, really scared of clown films. I hate clowns. I can't even walk past somebody in the street who's like, you know, in fancy dress where you can't see their own face. That just, it really scares me. But I love to be scared by clown films. And this certainly scared me. So if you're if you're scared of clowns to the extent where it's going to make you throw up, maybe avoid it. It will give you nightmares and some kind of mild PTSD. But if you love being scared by clowns, clown is your perfect option. <laughs>